Hello, 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 kiddos, friends, and families. I am Dr. Arazak, the hematologist. Hi, I'm Dr. Arazak, the original virgin. Oh. No, I am the original virgin. Of course not. It's the GI. As you know, the GI is the most important system in the body. That's not true. Look, when you get constipated or hungry, you can't even think. Who cares about the bathroom problems? Mm, if the GI is not the most important system in the body, it can't be blood. Look, we have the heart, the brain, and the bones. All are more important than hematology. They cannot function without blood. And by the way, do you know why I am here? To listen to your older brother? Actually, to talk about iron deficiency anemia. As you know, GI is a main source of iron deficiency anemia in kids. I'm Amal, it's GI care dietitian. Oh no, not Amal too. Can someone turn on the music and let us get started? Iron is an essential element the human body utilizes to produce red blood cells. Our body absorbs iron from the food we eat and stores it until it's needed to make red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen to our organs to maintain normal function and energy levels of those organs. While there are many causes for anemia in children, iron deficiency anemia remains the most common. This happens when there's not enough iron available to produce an adequate number of healthy red blood cells. Once iron deficiency anemia occurs, the amount of oxygen supply to the body organs will be diminished. Symptoms like headache, decreased energy, dizziness, or even fainting may happen. Other signs and symptoms include fatigue, pale skin, headache, decreased appetite, trouble concentrating, and difficulty with physical activity. Some children eat weird objects when having iron deficiency anemia, such as tissues, paper, ice, or paint. Also, if iron deficiency is left untreated, it can impact development, cognitive abilities and behavior, and overall quality of life. How does iron deficiency anemia develop? There can be various causes of iron deficiency anemia in children. Insufficient iron intake through the diet. Children who have a diet lacking iron-rich foods like lean meats, fish, eggs, legumes, and leafy green vegetables are at higher risk of iron deficiency anemia. Insufficient iron absorption. In these cases, the diet is good, but the GI tract is sick and not able to work well to absorb iron. Celiac disease and Crohn's disease are examples of these cases. Excessive iron loss. This happens from silent or obvious bleeding in the GI tract. It develops from a bleeding ulcer in the stomach or small intestine, H. pylori gastritis, where H. pylori bacteria causes inflammation in the stomach, inflammatory bowel disease, where inflammation affects different parts of the GI tract, causing bleeding, hemorrhoids, or polyps in the colon. Teenager girls also might develop iron deficiency in cases of severe menstrual periods. Toddlers have a higher risk of developing iron deficiency when consuming excessive amounts of milk too. Exclusively breastfed babies have a higher risk of developing iron deficiency anemia after the age of 4 to 6 months without additional iron supplements. Diagnosis when iron deficiency is suspected, the doctor will run a blood test to check for anemia in the blood iron level. A thorough history and physical exam are essential to determine the cause of iron deficiency. Sometimes additional evaluation is necessary to check for malabsorption and GI bleeding. These could include stool exams, further blood testing, and in some cases, endoscopy. How can we prevent iron deficiency anemia? To prevent iron deficiency anemia, it's crucial to ensure that children have a well-balanced diet rich in iron-containing foods and avoid consuming excessive amounts of cow's milk. 
Parents and caregivers should include iron-rich foods in their meals and snacks, such as incorporating lean meats, leafy greens, and iron-fortified cereals or bread. For infants, introducing iron-fortified foods at the appropriate age is essential. Regular, well-child checkups and screenings can help identify this condition early. If a child develops iron deficiency anemia, quick treatment is necessary to re-establish iron stores and resume the production of healthy red blood cells. Typically, your doctor prescribes iron supplements as tablets, liquids, or in rare cases, as IV therapy. Vitamin C rich food, such as orange juice, help with iron absorption. Monitoring the child's progress with regular checkups and follow-up blood tests is essential to assess the effectiveness of the treatment. I hope you learned why the GI is the most important system in the body. See, hematologists need a healthy GI tract to treat iron deficiency anemia. Uh, not really. GI is responsible for most cases of iron deficiency anemia. No, no, it's no, it's you. you. It's you, not me. Oh man, again? Can someone turn on the music?